the observable plot JavaScript library lets you quickly build and customize data visualizations. Code snippets from many common chart types are provided in the Add Cell menu, which let you easily replace the example data and variables with your own. Here's an example of a scatter plot with linear regression created with a few lines of observable plot code. To get started quickly, search for and then select an existing code snippet from the Add Cell menu. Snippets from many common chart types are included, such as scatter plots, line charts, order bar graphs, histograms, area charts, and more. Once you've selected the right chart type, starter code will be added to a new cell. Replace the fields with your own to get a view of your own data. You can use plot to draw the results of analysis from other cells or even other notebooks, but you can also specify data transformations directly in plot. For example, the bin X or bin Y transforms in plot group numerical data into discrete bins. You can then compute summary statistics for each bin. This example shows how bin X is used to create a histogram by finding counts of the weight variable within discrete bins and then plotting those counts as bar heights. It's also possible to use your own functions to transform the data to be visualized in your chart. With your base chart created, you may want to customize it by adding a legend, transforming axis scales, updating a color scheme, changing labels, and so on. Observable plot employs a layered grammar of graphics, so updates are achieved by adding and customizing an appropriate layer to your plot code. This scatter plot has been customized in a few different ways. Some elements are set to constants, some are mapped to data values, and some new elements were added. Adding interactivity to charts made in Observable Plot is also quick and painless using Observable's inputs. We have a separate video about this topic later in this series. There's also extensive documentation for Plot, including cheat sheets and a variety of examples. Next, let's look at cell modes, reactive markdown, and HTML.